Hi guys, and welcome back to Neon Black. Today I wanna to share with you how being vulnerable has helped me. Um, so for starters, being vulnerable isn't something that I was raised to do, was raised to be proud of. I was taught to never let them see you cry and to always, you know, kind of have a shell. And, and I'm a very private person and I keep a lot of things in, but being vulnerable and sharing has helped me a lot because it makes you realize that you're not the only person going through whatever you're going through and that there are other people who can relate to you. And you can only do that when you share and when you share a little piece of yourself and people can relate to that. And it's you're not the only person going through whatever you're going through. What Ever you're going through you're not the only person going through it whether you didn't get into the school you wanted to you don't feel like you're pretty you think you're fat um, you didn't make it on a sports team whatever it is whatever you're going through somebody else can relate to that even if a parent has passed a sibling an uncle an aunt anything mostly anything that you're going through somebody has gone through it and you're not the only one and somebody can relate to it so when you share and when you when you show a piece of yourself, you're able to connect with other people. And I just wanna remind you guys that being vulnerable isn't a bad thing. Being vulnerable can help you heal. Being vulnerable can help you relate. And being vulnerable isn't a sign of weakness. So don't be afraid to be vulnerable. Just pick and choose who you're vulnerable with and how much you share, but don't be afraid of seeming weak or anything of that nature because you're not. Being vulnerable is a sign of strength and it helps you heal. So that's all I have today about being vulnerable and I will see you in my next video. Peace and love always. Bye guys. We back like cook crack. Maybe not cook crack, but like we back.